If you've been suffering from obnoxious advertisements popping up on your Android phone, you're not alone. I want to talk to you really quickly about what to do, uh, how to disable them, and uh, how to free yourself from this absurd advertising strategy. All right, guys, so I recently had this issue, and I was talking about it on Twitter, and I had uh, a pretty good discussion going on. So I figured I'd make a video about it. So recently, my wife's grandmother had a bit of an issue with her Galaxy S7 smartphone. Uh, she had full screen, or nearly full screen, advertisements popping up all over the place, and it was absurd. Uh, she would unlock her phone and an ad would pop up and she'd have to wait a few seconds and dismiss it and it was just a huge pain. It took me several attempts to troubleshoot before I actually figured out what the issue was because, uh, <laughs> amusingly, searching uh, searching for terms such as full screen ads popping up on my Android phone doesn't really bring up the results, uh, at least not quickly. I had to look through a large number of articles uh, to actually find what the solution was. So I'm just going to tell it to you right now. If you're having this trouble, now it may be in the form of full screen advertisements, it may be in the form of just additional uh, icons coming up on your home screen, or it could be uh, pu constant push notifications that are actually ads. Uh, what's doing this is a an advertising agency called AirPush. I'm not a software developer, so bear with me, this explanation may be horrible. Uh, they have developers include their advertising platform in their apps. Now, this advertising platform is a little bit different because it doesn't need permission at all to start hijacking your phone. And it hijacks it in such an extreme way as to bring full screen advertisements in front of your home screen, in front of your lock screen. It's, it's absolutely insane in my opinion. and. Frankly, I think it's pretty unethical. Now, the only way to stop this is to opt out on AirPush's website. Go to airpush.com slash opt underscore out or opt dash out. I'll put the at whatever it actually is uh, right here uh, and in the description below. So make sure to check that out. What that website does is it just allows you to opt out from receiving the advertisements. Uh, you put in the IMEI number from your phone, which is the uh, uh, International Mobile Equipment Identifier number or something along those lines, if that acronym is right. Uh, and that's a, a unique identifier number that is your phone specifically. The AirPush platform is tied to your IMEI number, so it uh, has you just provide your IMEI number and, uh, and press opt out and it worked almost immediately uh, for my wife's grandma and believe me that was the end of a huge headache but I just I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention now I did get a little bit of backlash when I was discussing on Twitter about it uh, just from people who hadn't seen it before nothing uh, there was nobody being particularly malicious but just from people who hadn't seen it before uh, because it's something that you don't expect to see and you don't expect uh, I I'm, <laughs> You don't expect a casual game app to suddenly start putting full screen ads all over your home screen. Now I did go through and uh, and I looked for the setting that allows uh, an app to display over other apps like the Facebook Messenger typically requires permission to do that when you first install it uh, for the chat heads thing, which is, which is cool. Um, but it doesn't even use that setting and I think Samsung must have gotten rid of that setting because I couldn't find it and I've seen it before but regardless it doesn't even use that setting so you can't even turn it off from there or anything like that it completely it's something completely separate I don't know what and it totally hijacks your phone now, I was getting some comments on Twitter just from people who haven't seen it before saying things like don't install apps from unknown sources and don't don't install APKs from uh, from sketchy websites and things like that but my wife's grandma doesn't know how to do that and and she probably never will know how to do that. Uh, not that she needs to anyway. Uh, I mean, it's pretty clear that all she was doing was downloading casino games on the Google Play Store. Uh, but it's uh, that just told me that it's something that a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people are probably going to start struggling with if this keeps up. And uh, I figured I'd at least get ahead of the rush. Uh, they've been doing it for some time, but the full screen ads seem to be in a recent thing. Uh, anyway, guys, that's a about it. Um, I just wanted to go over just what to do if you're having that problem because it is a pain and, in my opinion, incredibly unethical. I know advertisement has advertising has been getting horrible 
recently uh, with targeted advertisements being absurdly creepy and now this and I'm, I'm gonna do another video soon about targeted advertisements and uh, just some of the easiest ways to avoid them because it's horrible but I'll get into that in a little bit thanks so much for tuning in uh, it's been a rough couple of weeks so it's been tough to make videos but I've got, I'll have more coming out soon and thank you so much for watching <laughs>